Child sexual abuse cases have accumulated in Kansas, but newly released numbers have been under the table for several years. What this means for Kansas families, and that's where we start tonight. Thanks so much for watching Fox 43 News at 9. I'm David George. Denisha Richard has the evening off. Well, tonight, a newly released report from the Kansas Department of Children and Families shows that the number of child sexual abuse cases across the state is basically high. In fact, the report is required to be made public under state law, but the agency has kept some numbers under wraps for over a decade. And Fox 43 Kansas Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung is getting answers on why it's finally being released. Well, it appears these reports are about 12 years overdue, dating back to fiscal year 2011. Now, a spokesperson for the department is blaming the prior administration, but lawmakers here are also learning that this isn't the only issue the agency needs to address. The Kansas Department of Children and Families is once again in the spotlight. Kansas lawmakers are hearing from concerned parents on issues that continue to plague the agency. Foster parents say it's been hard to get help. The caseworker intentionally ignored the emails from the therapist, but then took it upon herself afterwards and reached out to the therapist to say if she needed to be at the intake appointment. Delays in reporting are also coming to light. Annual reports of child sexual abuse reported by abortion clinics that are required to be made public under state law have been hidden until now. The reports show cases dating back to 2011. They detail a rise in cases with 12 reported in 2019, then 56 cases reported in 2022. The annual reports on child sexual abuse weren't published by Kelly Call and Brownback administrations in the previous six years. When asked why, a spokesperson for the department said publishing of the information came to a halt under the Brownback administration. Then the department gathered the data and posted it on their public website once they were made aware this year. Now lawmakers are hearing from key players working with the child welfare system on where things stand. Child welfare workers have a lot on their plate, and while they may be tasked with with that role, additional help is certainly um, something that would be be welcome. Now lawmakers have wrapped up hearings on the state's foster care system. They're expected to hear from leaders at the Department of Children and Families Tuesday morning. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.